Good day, everyone. This is Regan Asgarali, the controller of intellectual property for Trinidad and Tobago. I've been asked to speak about the importance of IP for businesses. IP really is the cornerstone for the new age, for the revolution of economics that will diversify our country. IP considerations permeate our daily life and our culture. This is the information age with its moguls, the Bill Gates, the Steven Spielbergs and Ted Turners, typify the new wealth. They eclipse the landed aristocracy. Before one had to own property to be able to be successful, this is no longer the case. In Power Shift, one of my favorite books, Alvin Toffler declares that the most important economic development in our life has been the rise of a new system for creating wealth based no longer on muscle, but on the mind. It is clear that a new set of assets known as intellectual property, the express creations of the human mind, has now moved to the forefront of business strategies for firms all around the world. What is intellectual property? I'll give you a few examples. Patents protects the name of the product and its method of manufacture for 20 years. Trademarks basically protects your brand, your words, your names, your symbols, logos, devices, the shape of the goods, etc. And copyright protects original, literary, dramatic, and artistic works. So how can these IP rights be put to a variety of uses to enhance the reputation and the success of one's business, one's SME, for our exporters taking our products to the world. Well, IP can be used as the basis for a business plan that can attract funding from venture capitalists and other outside investors. It can be incorporated into a company's products and services, including the process used to manufacture those products. It can be pledged as security for the obligations of the owner, such as when a loan is needed to finance the machinery necessary for the owners of the IP. It can be loaned or licensed to one or more third parties. It can be used to protect the key elements of a company's marketing strategy and can allow access to technology, such as technology transfer. I remember a very successful Caribbean story when, in the time years ago, when no one thought that coffee could be successful in the Caribbean. One gentleman went to his wife and she asked him, what does coffee mean to you? And he said, it's my ritual. And rituals has become one of the most successful stories in our export history. One can think of three persons looking at their phone, saying if I can click a button and get a ride. That was Uber. And Uber's trademark is one of the most powerful in this new age. Or as I pull out my phone, and you can click a button on your phone, and you can then buy, but purchase anything. And that's Amazon. This typifies the new wealth. You do not need a head start to be successful. All you need to do is to use your intellectual property, harness it, ring fence it, exploit it, and take it to the world. And this is the purpose of what is going to be discussed. How can you use your patents, your trademarks, to typify new wealth, to be successful, and to help us take our products out to the world while protecting within? I thank you very much.